up guys today we're doing a review this is a deco welder it's a little inverter welder that i picked up off of uh amazon uh it's about 160 bucks 150 bucks um i'm not paid to say this by any by anybody or the company deco um they did send me this mach machine to uh, review and uh that's what we're gonna do we're gonna open this box up check what we got in here maybe weld a couple beads um and then maybe we're gonna also show you how to make a little tig welder out of this bad boy a little scratch uh scratch the start without further ado let's jump into this box huh let's see what we got in here right off the bat you got a little scratcher check your beads out little hammer on the end too. Crack those beads open. They come with every kind of welder, every little cheap welder. I think every freaking welder sends these with. This little cheap cheapo. Uh, we got, let's see, let's see here. Let's bring this one out. So we got your stinger. Get it untangled here. Heavy duty, better than normal, I would say. Thickness wise of this gauge, what is this? Didn't say. All right, so yeah, I got I mean, nice little stinger. You got this, uh, I think this is a 10, 10 by 25 dense connector. The little guy, you see that little nipple on there? Pretty decent for what I paid. I mean, like I said, this was free to do a review, but uh, I mean, they do have a cheaper one and uh, I'm familiar with that one. I actually have, I bought one of those just for TIG welding. And uh, I mean, if you're gonna just scratch the start or if you wanna just stick weld on it, it's a really great machine. Um, it goes 160 amps and uh, yeah, I mean, I've put it through its spaces and so. I like, I like this machine because it does have a 110 or a 120 to a 240. Um, they do a little ground clamp. This is, I mean, there are better ground clamps out there. Um, but again, for the price you're paying, I mean, I don't know how they make profit, to be completely honest with you. Um, so decent little clamps on there. Oh yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll, it works. Again, you got the little, I think that's a 10 by 25 dense connector. I'm not 100% sure. It's the smallest dense connector. Pretty standard. Maybe it's good to the beast. Box here. A little manual. We don't need these. Box. So you do get this uh, nice little adapter here. This is a 220 to uh, 120 adapter here so you can plug this into your regular house outlet um, I've done it it works uh, you can't go any I've had trouble going beyond about 95 ish amps um, then I start popping breakers pretty fast um, so if you're gonna just weld you know stick weld or TIG weld on like 80 amps or something like that consistently I mean you should get away with it but I don't know who's doing that either um, but a little guy, good, nice to have. The real beast. So this is the 160 amp smart panel. I believe that's what it's called. It has a little gauge here, or your little gauge and a couple more buttons. I'm not actually familiar with it. This is the first time I'm actually opening it and looking at it and gonna be playing with it. So I'm learning as I go like you guys are. But so far, build quality, I mean, seems pretty sturdy. I mean, like I said, 160 bucks. I mean, so far I'm impressed. Plug it in like that. And then you can plug it into your house outlet. You got one right here. So you got your ground. Your stinger. Put that on your positive. So we had a couple little weird pictures there. Oh, this has a lift tape. No way, I didn't know that. I'm gonna put this right on the ground right here. You're not thinking of doing some funny business here. 
got a half inch plate. A half inch plate. I think it's a seven by seven plate right here. That I just kind of doodle on. It's pretty rusty. I'm not gonna even really mess with it. I'm gonna just see how it goes. I'll scrape it a little bit here. I'm gonna just see how it runs, just like that. So what I just did, I just changed uh, from 120 to 240. We're gonna see how that wells. I wasn't getting any luck, any penetration through this rust. suck it well and it seems like laid down a nice little bead could have been better got to play around with this machine it has a little another different setting that I'm not used to but you can see it welded that pretty good that's a half inch set down a little bit pretty good nice little welder I'm telling you for that price I mean especially for the new people I mean if you're just looking for a little welder to stick welder to um, practice and get into you know stick welding yeah this is a good great little machine they have you know affordable machines in it and uh, my other one that I paid with my own money uh, it's lasted me over two years and it's still kicking um, like I said I'm not paid to say any of this stuff that's why I liked when they sent me this product they were really super nice response time was super great and uh, um, they just basically told me you know we'll send you this welder review it and uh, review it to like your own feedback you know say whatever you want about it so that was really good that the how they how they approached that because for they were telling me to say what they wanted me to say and I you know that's I'm not about that I want to give you guys the, the right information here so so this is how it works so you can you can hear that gas coming out. So basically, when I start it, I'm gonna turn it on. This has, I guess, lift lift start instead of scratch start. So if you have a different little inverter box, hook it up the same way. You can you can TIG weld with any of these. It doesn't have to have the program in the, in the the welder. It can be a little cheap little inverter welder. Um, just for stick welding so any stick welder is a TIG welder you just got to hook it up like this but you would have to scratch the start so scratching the start is basically the same way you'd start your stick welder so basically with your tungsten turn it on and then you're gonna get to your workpiece and then scratch the piece of metal and then you'll start your arc pull up and then you're gonna whip whip your hand real fast and keep the gas Break the arc and then keep the gas cooling that metal, or cooling your weld, or else the shit's gonna be all oxidized and you don't want that. But any welder, any stick welder is a TIG welder. So that's another tip, another fact. But this one has lift to, lift to start. So all I'd have to do is touch my, touch my piece and lift right up instead of scratching it. Scratching, you can stick and all kinds of different things. You, you eat away at your tungsten, but I haven't used lift to the lift start yet, so this will be pretty interesting. Let's get back to it. 150 amps. We're gonna see how this does.
feel this torch getting pretty hot or this cable getting pretty hot. And that's my torch. That's not the company's torch. So when you shut off, shut off the gas. This is a little bad, but so the extra forty-five dollars. So I have the cheaper version of the deco welder inverter box, the one hundred sixty. It's like yellow box. For the forty-five dollars, if you're gonna you do TIG, that lift is that lift to start is definitely worth it. It's a lot smoother than my other one, I would say. So here's the first weld that's, and then here's our TIG weld right there. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty good, I would say, pretty good. For $160, I don't think you can beat it. So this little welder, definitely worth the money um can stick weld pretty damn good i gotta i gotta go through the instructions and there's a little bit more settings to play around with um but all around if you're gonna stick weld with it and learn with it definitely i would i would go with one of these welders from deco um like i said i have a little cheaper version it's lasted me two years so far it's pretty great uh that you could tig weld it too you could TIG weld, it, TIG weld with it too, scratch start, and um, it's a great little machine. That's the cheaper $115 one. But if you're going to start TIG welding and you want to stick weld, just go and buy the $160 one. That lift to start is definitely worth the $45 or whatever it is. Um, so, I mean, you saw the V that I laid down with the TIG weld. It's pretty good. I, I I'll try to throw a picture in there if I remember. Um, but I mean, all around, you can't beat it for the price. So now that's, that's what it is. I mean, you get your bang for your buck, especially if you're just starting to get into this, definitely check them out. Um, and they're really nice people. I mean, so far the guy that's been helping me has been really helpful. Um, but yeah. If you guys like this video i mean i'm going to be coming out with a lot more different welding videos and hopefully other product reviews uh probably in that kind of in that kind of industry or welding in industry or just blue collar shit um but uh but if yeah if you guys like this video yeah please like subscribe uh share and uh you know hopefully i'll see you guys in uh later videos thank you so much later